All right, why don't you guys come on down and have a seat up here. We're going to just see how you're doing this morning. Are you all awake? Are you awake? Are you tired? No, not tired, you're wide awake. All right. No sleeping during church. All right. Make sure you poke mommy and daddy to make sure they don't fall asleep during church, okay? If you're wide awake, then you can help keep others awake. All right. I thought it would be really fun this morning uh, to start out with an Easter egg hunt. So I've, I've hid a bunch of Easter eggs, all right, um, up front here. And so um, you can just go and uh, see if you can find any Easter eggs. But just, just grab one to begin with, all right? So see if you can find an Easter egg. And then you can come back and sit down where you just were. Just see if you can find an Easter egg. All right. Wow, you guys are quite the finders. Man. How did you find them so quickly? Did everybody find an Easter egg? All right. Pastor John didn't hide those very well this morning, did he? Huh? <laughs> no. Did you all find one? Did you all find an Easter egg? All right. That's the fun part of Easter, is, is uh, finding Easter eggs that are hidden, right? Okay, everybody, everybody hold up your egg. I want to make sure everybody got an Easter egg. Did everybody get an Easter egg? Yeah. One person didn't get an Easter egg. I don't have an Easter egg, right? <laughs> Could you get me one? Oh, you found another one, all right. Okay, all right, somebody's disappointed. Is there nothing inside there? <laughs> Was there nothing inside that Easter egg? Shake it and see if there's something inside. Oh, I don't know. You might be surprised to find something in, but you might be, you might be disappointed too. That's kind of what Easter is about. Easter is about surprises. Easter is also about disappointments. But hey, I know, I know one thing that Easter is about, and it, it's about good news. And I want to share that news with you, okay? Are you ready to hear the good news of Easter? Look over there. What do you see up there? What do you see? Flowers. Yep, there's flowers, but look above the flowers. What do you see a there? Cross. A cross, that's right. So on Easter, on Easter, we remember that Jesus died on a cross that looked a lot like that. That's where Jesus died. That's, that's, uh, that's where Jesus died, but that's not the good news. The good news of Easter is this, and I'm going to share it with you. Can I share it with you? So when I, share, when I share with you the good news of Easter, then I want you to share it with somebody else. But we're going to whisper it, okay? Can you all whisper? Right, can you whisper? Can you whisper? It's good, it's good to whisper in church, right? <laughs> whisper, we're gonna, I'm going to whisper the good news to you, and then you whisper it to somebody else, okay? All right, here's the good. Here's the, are you ready for the good news of Easter? I'm going to whisper, Jesus is risen. Can you whisper it to somebody else? Did you get it? It's kind of like telephone tag. You got to make sure you get the message. You got the good news? Don't mess, don't mess it up. Jesus is risen. Did you get it? Okay, share it with somebody else. Did you get it? Did you get the message? I can't understand that well. You can't understand that? Here, let me try again. Jesus is risen. Did you get it? Remember the cross? Jesus died on the cross, but now the good news is, let me share it with somebody. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Can you share it with somebody? Jesus is risen. You didn't hear it? That's the thing with whispering is that not everybody can hear it. All right, how about over here? Did everybody have the good news? Are we sharing the good news? You need the good news? Here it is. Jesus is risen. Share it again. Share it again with somebody. Oh. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Okay. Did you get it over here? Here's the good news. Jesus is risen. Okay, share it with somebody. Can you share it? Share it again with somebody. Share it with somebody. Share it with somebody. You know the good news. You know the good news. Share it with somebody. Jesus is risen. You got the good news? Share it with somebody. Jesus is risen. The good news. The good. Jesus is risen. 
Share it with somebody. You got the good news? Jesus is risen. You got the good news? Got it? Jesus is risen. I said it a little louder because you had your, turn, you had your hearing aid turned down. All right. Does everybody get the good news? No? Okay, go over here. Jesus is risen. Got it now? What's the good news? Jesus is risen. What's the good news? Jesus is risen. Now, if I wanted to tell that person way in the back, Lee, he's helping us usher today. If I wanted to tell Lee the good news, could I whisper it to him? Did you get that, Lee? No? What? <laughs> All right. How could I tell him the good news? I could, I could speak it in my microphone, right? So it's really loud. I could do that. Everybody, I, could, hear. everybody could hear. Then it's really not a whisper. I could, I could walk up to him, but you know what I could do? Would it would even be better? I could send you out to share the good news with others. Because that's part of the Easter story, is coming and seeing, and then going out and sharing the story with others. So this is what we're going to do, is we're going to invite you to share that good news. What's the good news? That's the good news, so we're going to invite you to share the good news with others. Wait a minute, what's the good news? Okay, we're going to invite you to share the good news with others. And so when you go out, when you go out, just here in church, just this morning, I want you to share the good news with others around you. And when you share it with others, you can whisper it to them. You know, Jesus is risen is such good news. We might even want to shout it, right? Jesus is risen! Hallelujah! We could shout it even. So if you want to do that during the service, that's fine. But when you share the good news with somebody... Write their, have them write their name down on your children's bulletin, okay? And then you show me this bulletin after church, and I want to see all the names that you shared the good news with, and then I have a surprise for you, all right? You show this to me or Pastor John after the service, okay? You share the good news, and when you share it with somebody, you, write, you have them write their name on your bulletin, okay? So what's the good news? All right, you guys go now, and you share it. Share the good news with others. Share it, and I will talk to you after the service, and I'll see how many people you shared it with, all right? And if there's any other Easter eggs up here, if you want to grab another one, you go, go, you go right ahead. Share the good news. Share the good news. Oh, wait a minute. What's the good news? What's the good news? What's the good news? Wait a minute, let's see if mom and dad are paying attention, grandmas and grandpas. What's the good news? Jesus. One more time. What's the good news? Jesus. Is risen. Okay. Did everybody get a bulletin? Oh. We, oh. Well, that's a, that's a good problem to have. You know what? You use a part of mom and dad's bulletin, okay, and have them write their names down. We ran out of bulletins. That's a good, that's a good thing. I hope you think it's a good thing. Use, you use mommy and daddy's bulletin. Oh, all right, well, you go get some more names and you tell the good news.